I'm really excited to get this thing open and check it out. Uh, what this is, this is an air compressor. Let me get the door down. We're going to double check that thing and see what we got. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. right here this is an air compressor okay people um, you're probably telling yourself why did he buy that air compressor he's got that big giant air compressor to be honest with you I don't really need my big giant air compressor I can actually if I have a nice little portable air compressor like this I can go ahead and do stuff save the electricity and and I won't have to worry about the big air compressor breaking down or possibly in the winter time like now starting it up and running it while it's freezing ass cold outside etc etc and in this box is a 13 gallon air compressor it's a two horsepower supposedly it's supposed to be a maximum air pressure of 125 psi now this is new technology we're looking at all right this is oil free pneumatic and it's super quiet so let's get this thing open let's check it out and see what we got this is something right here that might be the answer and the key to what we're looking for so let's get all this stuff out and check this thing out there's another wheel right there look at that all right wow look at this so this is what I'm talking about, new technology right here. The, the motor and the pump is built into one solid unit. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And I actually have it backwards. But let me get it unpacked and then we'll take a good look at it. All right, after I got done unpacking it, I went ahead and installed the wheels on it. And then over on the other side, it comes with some rubber feet that you can mount onto the compressor and I believe what these are for is vibration so the machine won't walk once it's running. So the unit is very compact and very, very, what can I say, um, easy, simple and legible to use. One thing I do want to show you, I went ahead and put the wheels on there, I got to finish that out. Um, it comes with two intake air filters you can see that right there and if we look at our compressor right here in the front you can already see I installed one we're gonna go ahead and install the other one right here so this is a dual head air compressor it's a pneumatic oil you don't put any oil in it you don't put any uh, anything you just basically turn it on and go and the unit itself, as you can see, is a compact and very, very tight-fitting situation. Once again, this is new technology here, people. This is new technology, and I'm afraid to say that the big, giant air compressors that you're using or purchasing with uh, the big V-twin pumps on them and the giant motors, those are going to be a thing of the, his of the past. You can see how nicely this is built. It's got a braided steel line for the air to come out of the pump motor itself and go into the tank. You got a copper line that comes up to the pressure switch. That's what this is right here. This is a pressure switch that you can actually adjust and it gives you full um, instructions on how to do this. If you pull it up 
to turn it on, push down to turn it off. We're talking about this right here. So if we pull it up, it'll come on. If you want to turn it off, you push it down. So it's got two gauges on it. It's got one gauge that is for how many PSI is in the tank. All right, and you can see right here that it reads there's 50, uh, 100, and then we got, uh, I think that's 120 right in there, but you're really getting into the red line when you're going up that high. So 120, 125 max probably would be the maximum for this size tank. And then on this gauge here, this is your outlet gauge. What this is right here, this is your adjuster. All right, when you turn it, when you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to bring the pressure down. When you turn it clockwise, when you turn it clockwise like you just saw me do, like this, it's going to bring the pressure up. So this comes with a uh, pressure gauge already installed. Now there's not a water trap filter on this. I suggest that in the future if you purchase an air compressor like this or possibly this one, that you go ahead and buy a water trap that you can actually put on one of these lines. So that way you will have uh, a one line dedicated for water trap that will um, be used for painting and then the other line you can actually use for air tools and that's what we're going to try to do today is use our air tools to see how good this thing actually works. So you're probably wondering what is the cost on that air compressor before we go any further, I'm going to tell you the cost on this is $247. That includes free shipping. All right. Um, for a compressor that this is actually a two horsepower. Once again, it's a two horsepower, and it does come with all the instructions and uh, you know uh, everything you need to to actually understand this compressor. We're not going to go over that, but it does come with them. And the model of this air compressor is a DOF. 1500-50V-I, all right, dash one. So if you're interested in this, I want you to go to the description of the video, go down in the description right below this video, and scroll down and you'll see all the information on this. I don't know what this is going to uh, pump up to from the uh, factory, so let's go ahead and plug this thing in, and we're going to find out what it does. Let's see how loud this thing is. It says low noise quiet. We'll go ahead and pull this up. And that, that's it. Okay. <laughs> um, this compressor would be good for the hobby guy at home. Possibly somebody that needs an air compressor for airbrushing. Um, minor metal work. Um, if you wanted to paint a fender or possibly a hood or do some minor body work to a car, this would be an excellent choice instead of paying thousands and thousands of dollars to go out and purchase a big air compressor that you'll only use maybe once or twice a year. So we're almost up to 100 PSI and it's still pumping out. It is now at 100 PSI. Let's see how much higher it goes. So I'm presuming that it's probably going to go off around 125. And there you go, look at that. It automatically stopped exactly at 125. 125, wow. So I'm going to go ahead and hook my air hose up and hopefully this is the fitting that we need for this. And there you go, look at that. So I actually have a 50 foot hose hooked up to this. You don't have to use a 50 foot hose. Um, but a 50 foot hose is usually the, the standard basic hose that you would use. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my cutoff wheel right here. Now remember, it is cold out here, okay? Uh, it is now, it's only 48 degrees in my shop, so the air tool might not use 100 full capacity. 
of, of usage due to the fact that the cold air um, actually makes the tool run a little bit slower. So we're going to go ahead. Now that right there, I'm going to tell you, that is some torque. Now I want everybody to try to keep their eye on this. We're down to 100 pounds right now. Let's go ahead. And you can see the usage as it's going down. Alright, so it just came back on and it comes on at 90 PSI, 95 PSI is when it comes back on. So that's actually good because we're not going to use, we're not going to lose a lot of air pressure where the air pressure is going to drop drastically as we're working with the air compressor. Okay, the air compressor just kicked off. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut a piece of this sheet metal off to see how good this air compressor and what kind of torque we got using this Vevor 13 gallon 2 horsepower air compressor. And right there, that cut through that sheet metal with no problem at all. We're going to go ahead and cut a long section right here, okay, and we're going to see what happens. Now I want the air compressor to kick back on. The reason I wanted to do that because I want to see if the air compressor can keep up with the tool usage as I'm using it. So let's go ahead and start cutting this and see if the air compressor comes on. Okay, we went ahead and cut that piece of sheet metal off. Now we went all the way from here all the way over to here. So that was a very long cut that we did. That was approximately six to eight inches that we just cut off using the Bevor two horsepower. Now it did not, I wouldn't say that it kept up super, super strong. We dropped down to approximately 75 PSI from 125, cutting this piece of sheet metal. But then on the other hand, we're not going to be doing heavy duty industrial work with this. This is going to be something that we're going to be using at the, in our garage at home or possibly a small job. Do, do, do I make sense here? Now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and change tools. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you again, I'm using tools that consume a lot of air pressure. Okay, and this is one of them right here. And then another one that we got is our uh, angle grinder, a roll a lot grinder. And this really uses a lot. This uses more air than that tool there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grind this piece of metal that I just cut off. And I'm going to get rid of some of this rust. And I want to see how long it takes for our air compressor to come back on by using this. <laughs> And the air compressor didn't even come back on yet. And I'm almost done taking all the rust off of that piece. We have used two massive air tools. And we're talking um, industrial commercial type air tools with this air compressor. And it seems like they held up pretty good. I wouldn't say that this air compressor is something that you're going to use in the industrial commercial world. But you can see that it did a great job taking off all this this surface rust and cleaning our metal up uh, with our grinder all right with our blue point snap on grinder and then by using the cutting wheel it actually did a good job cutting which I'm actually shocked for small jobs at home this is an air compressor that I would purchase and buy and use um, I actually will use this air compressor I think that it is worth $250 it's a heavy duty industrial style air compressor for what it is and I think that it'll last many many man hours of usage. Um, I don't hear any air leaking out of the compressor uh, and I mean overall it's a great little air compressor and I've had a lot of people call and say I, I, I want to do some body work at my house. Um, I'm not going to restore a complete car 
All right, what air compressor would you recommend? Well, this little air compressor right here might be your answer, okay? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, doing reviews on tools and checking them out with the name Vevor on them, Vevor. And uh, I would say that this is, a, for what this is, this is a winner. Okay, this is a winner. Take it easy. I hope you like this little video and this little demonstration. And um, once again, it's something that I will use and use vigorously. We'll see. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.